Welcome to the first ever video where I actually feature on my own channel. There's a lot of changes and exciting features being added to my YouTube channel. But before we get to that, I want to introduce to you Michael and Sean Daly, uh, the two hunters, well, among the hunters that we'll be following on this video. Thank you, Martin. And uh, we had a wonderful time, but really we want to get in, get in and watch the action. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Right, uh, it's uh, 2023, we had you guys in 2021. It's uh, great to have the Daly family back uh, with us at Comrie Safaris. We had one of our different lodges, uh, Rocklands. We were fortunate enough to own a couple of properties. And I thought I'd give you guys a different experience this time. Uh, along with the misty rain this morning, we've got some great animals on the list. Um, as soon as the sun burns us off, we're gonna head out and have a good time. Welcome back, guys. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate it. Welcome Sorry. back. Thank you, Richard. Round we're excited. With uh, Comrie Safaris, like Richard said, we're at the Rocklands today and got Martin behind the cam for African Sun Productions. And we look forward to this trip. We've got a lot of good animals on our list. Very so, excited. We got MJ and her son Ryan. First time. Everybody's excited to get some good quality animals. I'm excited to initiate with the blood and liver. Just saying. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Thank Let's you, Richard. Do Let's do it. Okay guys, we're going to take a walk just over this ridge line. There's a very good spot for Kuria. We've had great success here. So we're going to walk over to a single line behind each other quietly. Okay, let's see if we can see a nice pool here. No, he's still, he's one horn's facing backwards, so he's not quite okay. ready to be shot. There was another one over Yeah, there. he was small. Yeah. yeah.
There's like a, no 100 yards down yet. Right but I think they must have heard us or something. Yeah. yeah. We're sitting nice in polar ram. We're going to try and see if we can get a nice position to lay down in the prone position and take a shot at him. He's working his way to the left and he's pretty thick there. So hopefully he shows himself there. I'm going to explain to you where he's going to come out, Ryan. Okay, if you, if you look straight in front of us, Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll see there's a thick line of bush here and there's openings below yeah. it. Now, to the it, left of the tower. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you, that thick line of bush, mm -hmm. if you go to the right a little bit, there's one little patch of grass there. Mm -hmm. Like, he should be coming through that gap there. Right, uh, we were on an Impala ram, a beautiful ram, nice and wide. But uh, he gave us a slip, he's gone into the thick stuff, so we'll have to try again, round two. Yeah, so we just saw a couple of Impala. Um, I'm gonna see if we can take a walk, go down there and see if we can find them. Let's give it a go, let's see. All right. Go down? Yeah. Too late. Wait, wait. I got one. I got an out. Are you serious? Are yeah, you gonna shit? <laughs> I can feel them. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> Don't pick it up. I had one in this. Mm. I can help. You learn the hard way, you don't pick up a prickly pear with your bare hands. <laughs> <laughs>
you're ready, just squeeze that trigger. Here's one on the right. Wait, wait, wait. Three steps away. See if you've got a clearing here. Okay, you're going upright. Let's just wait and see if they stop. Furthest right, eh? Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to take you off safe. Yeah. When you're ready. Which way they go, Tom? Are they in the front? How do they feel? No recall, eh? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Oh, we missed. But I don't know how. 14. 410. <laughs> it's pretty far. That's it. Right, we've spotted another three uh, Impala rams that have been feeding out towards us. It's still quite a distance. We need to close the gap. They're at 625 at the moment. Um, wind is going across. They shouldn't pick us up. So let's see if we can close the gap and get closer and take one. <laughs> what did he say about that? <laughs> he dropped him on the spot, well done. <laughs> Yeah, it's a beautiful ram. You shot him exactly where I wanted you to. Yeah. Look at that. Well done, buddy. Yeah. You made an excellent shot there. Nice ram. We watched him for a long time before he presented himself. He was sticking out around these bushes here for a while. Well done. Exceptional ram. He's a big one. Yeah, right in the spot. Good job, kid. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. nice. Wow. Wow. He's yeah, big. Wow, he's a brute. Nice. Yeah, he is. He's a body. Wow. Yeah. We're watching the other ones. That was nice. Wow. Right, Ron, we managed to get a beautiful uh, Impala Ram. We put on a stalk on some earlier. We took Pretty long shot, I stretched you out there. The wind was gusting too, which I didn't take into consideration. We missed him. But from that position, we managed to see three rams and uh, we put in a beautiful stalk. We got to about 190 yards and you made an absolutely perfect shot on this ram. He dropped on the spot. You can see his conditions prime. Um, we've had exceptional rains in the Eastern Cape and the animal's health is testament to how good they are looking at the moment. Well done, buddy. You did very well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for uh, helping me set up on this one. Uh, I mean, the first one, that was kind of far out, but this one came in perfect. Just had to wait for the right shot and pretty much sat him down right here. Yeah, it made it easy for us. Yep. No caring, we could get the truck right to him. <laughs> yep. Okay, Ryan, if you can hold that so long, we've got a little tradition here in South Africa. 
you better make a step up to manhood in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me move that piece there. <laughs> Voila, you're a man. You've got to put that down the gullet now. You're not allowed to gag. Otherwise, you could do it again. Swallow. <laughs> well done, buddy. <laughs> I think you've got more blood on the rest than the rest of you got. <laughs> good man, good man. see a kudu bull and we're gonna go down and sneak and see if we can close the distance and hopefully get a crack at it. He's still making our way to the vehicle. Done. Well done, Mark. Awesome. Well done. We are chasing Kudu all day, but we eventually got one. Well done. Oh my God. Let's go have a look. 
Well, Mark, we've been hunting kudu bulls for quite a while now. Well done, buddy. Thank old, you. Old, old bull. Thank you, Richard. Hooks forward. It's not often you get that. Usually they're figure eight. Yep, he's an old one. Old, old bull. You can see he's down in condition. Oh, yeah. Perfect shot. Look at that on the shoulder. Nice. Very nice. Well done. Well, well thank done, you, buddy. Richard. I, pr I appreciate all the guiding and everything. Comrade <laughs> Safaris is number one in my book. Thank you. Well done, buddy. Thanks. Well done. Well, that was an exciting clip watching Mike shoot a great kudu and Ryan Wardell shooting his first African animal, a great impala. And Martin, back to you. Yeah, thanks again for having me on your hunt. It's our second time around. You guys were here in 2021 as well. We had a blast and I'm fortunate enough to, to spend some more time with the brothers and friends and family of theirs. But I also would like to thank uh, every viewer of African Sun Productions. Uh, thanks to you. YouTube sent me this award for surpassing 100,000 subscribers and would it wouldn't have been possible uh, without each and every one of you. So yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for liking, subscribing and just watching the videos. Congratulations, awesome. Martin. Thank you. Congratulations, Martin. Thank you. Right. Now let's get back to the action. Right, uh, it's day two of our safari. We're back at our main lodge, Comrie Safari's Lodge. Um, we've got a couple of animals on the hit list. We're gonna go out this morning and have a look if we can find uh, two decent eland and see if we can have them back by lunch. Well, that's the plan at least. We don't know if it's gonna go accordingly. And then uh, this afternoon, we're gonna go and have a look for a roan for Sean over there. And uh, we're just here to have a bit of fun there, Ryan. What do you think about that? Maybe that's good Let's do it, boys. Yep. All right, guys. Sounds good.
that sticks quickly. John Lee Miller up on the same the one at the back, right at the back, standing there, just beyond yeah, just beyond the top. Right. I am good. <laughs> you didn't hear him. See the one that's, see the one broadside? Now go to the right, there's one. You're gonna start walking now. Just behind the shoulder, middle of the body. Go for it. Reload. Just so I'm gonna give you another, we're gonna work a range here. Crack him there. Okay, reload. He's down. Nice. Well done, buddy. Thank you, Richard. It's a beautiful eel and a beautiful shot on him. Well done. Thank you, sir. Just shows you how strong that animal is. I mean, that shot was perfect on the shoulder, but he was going nowhere. We just needed that gap for him to step out, and that second shot just thumped him, and he rolled over. Beautiful animal. Very. 400 and, 440 yards, that second shot. First shot, 410. So we do it at Comrie Safaris. Yes, sir. Look at the size of that big boy. <laughs> hey? Wow. Yeah. Well you, done. Check it that bad boy. Wow. Yes, that's a big bull. Absolute brute. That's awesome. Thank you, Richard. Well done, buddy. Yeah, he has got a big body too, eh, Tom? Uh -huh. Woo! Well, Sean, you got an absolute brute of an eel and bull, yeah? Um, it was on your list for a while now. And uh, you were going to flat skin him until we got to him, and you were going to do a euro, and I convinced you rightfully to do a shoulder mount on him. 
you made two perfect shots. I mean, the first shot was 4.10 and the second shot was 4.40 and you thumped him. Um, like I said, they're tough animals. They can absorb a bullet. He didn't go far. He went 20 yards from his first shot and you managed to get your second shot in and as a result, it's absolutely brute of an eland. Well done, buddy. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. It's a great animal. I love the, uh, the size of the horns on it and the uh, all the extra stuff that Richard told me about. So I should do a full shoulder mount. So it looks like it's going to be in our trophy room. So I appreciate it. Comrade Safaris and African Sun Production. Hit the like button and subscribe. Right, we just had a quick lunch. Uh, we've come back out again. It's nice and cool, so we came out early. We've just spotted some springbuck a couple of hundred yards out, so we're going to see if we can put in a stalk and uh, get uh, dead, uh, Dick over there, Sean, to hit it. <laughs> Let's do it.
and sneak you forward. Can you hit him in the chest? Yeah. Are you clear? Can you see him? Yep. Yeah. On. Reload, 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 reload quickly. Did it come out? Safety on, safety on. Yep. <laughs> He's down, well done, well done. He's a thank freaking brute of a golden. Thank you, Thomas. Hey! Mark, what do you think of that? That's awesome. Holy cow, look at the colors on him. Beautiful bull. Yeah. Hey? Eh? Very old, nice. Cracked up bosses, beautiful bull. Well done. Good shooting. Thanks. It worked Thanks out. Thanks for there. getting close, yeah. yeah. Right in the chest. Look well, at that. Yeah, well done. We've got a big oh, buddy. Good job there, dear. <laughs> yeah, good old. Good job. Good job. Thanks. Hey. It was a it was a far shot. Was yeah. it? No. Four hundred. <laughs> oh. Minus three hundred. <laughs> yeah. So Sean had to shoot his golden like fifteen times. Hit it in the face. Good. He hit it in the face. I shoot mine once in the chest and it's dead. Look at him, he's still lagging behind everyone he, else too. He, he shot his like in the gullet and in the, I think the ass, scrotum, you know. <laughs> I use one bullet. He uses like a box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> where, where do you think I got him? Right in the chest. Yep. Hey, with legs like that, I'd walk on my hands. My legs? <laughs> sexy. Right, Mark. Um, we got a beautiful golden wildebeest bull here. It was a bit of a comedy of errors in the beginning. Um, we were walking down for a spring back ram for Sean, and this guy stepped out. We had to get you down from the truck quickly and walk to us. And uh, they saw us, and I started grunting like the alpha wildebeest bull there. Mm -hmm. And we managed to keep his attention for long enough that we walked into him, and uh, he stood there at 100 yards, less than 100 yards from us. And you put in a perfect shot, and here's the results. It's absolutely brute of a oh, yeah. golden wallabies bull. Congratulations. Thank you, Richard. Beautiful bull. I'm excited. Uh, this is one of the ones that I've been wanting to get for a while. Sean got an awesome one last time we were in at Comrae, and um, uh, stalked right up to him, basically. Hit him right in the chest, one shot, and he went down. So I just uh, want to put it out there. Yours is bigger than Sean's. Yeah, uh. it is, oh, for sure. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. Pleasure, buddy. We've spotted some spring back. We're going to see if we can put a stalk in on them. They're just over the ridge here. The sun's a bit bright, but let's see if we can get a shot on one.
from the right if you can whack him. You shot the female. How did that happen? I didn't. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Make safe. Well, Richard got me on these uh, black spring buck today. We had some commons earlier and they got away from us. And he set me up with a nice shot, 157 yards, hit it right in the chest, went down. So uh, this is the first of hopefully four. I still have a common, a copper, and a white. So Ryan, when you shoot a spring buck, uh, whatever color it is, this is what they call pronking. Mm -hmm. And if you run your hand on it, smell it. It smells like cotton candy. And uh, they do this when they die or when they're having fun, they pronk. I know it's not an Impala, but a little bit of tradition. Right in? Go up here, turn around back in. 70. Thank you, sir. Well done. Beautiful. Thank you, Al. So we think that they picked up our scent and moving up, so we're going to head back up again. Reload, reload. Turn down to zero. Just wait now. <laughs> Queen mess? Yeah, it looks like it, eh? Pause it. Sweet bacon wrapped with soy sauce. Okay. Uh, cooked over in the oven, and then that's where we come out with this one. Mm -hmm. Some roast veg, zucchini, 
carrot and roast potatoes. Mm. What kind of meat was that again? This one is a bacon wrap. Bacon wrapped venison. Okay. Yes. Right, uh, we're on day three on our safari. Um, we're at one of our concessions. We're looking for a roan bull. The guys have spotted a beautiful old roan bull here. Um, we're gonna see if we can get on him this morning and knock him down and uh, move on and see if we can get a Nyala for Mark there. So let's get at it, boys. All right, sounds good, Richard. Let's do it. Okay, we've st spotted two springbok on their own. There's a nice male, and there they go.
there's a gun slowly and then you move slowly. Okay. It's not going to be comfortable. I'll come with you. That's how you drop a spring back. Not like the last one. <laughs> well done. Well done. You can take it one out there. Did you know you had it? Of eh? course. <laughs> well done. Day three of the safari. Uh, Mike and I have been chasing Roan in Eland all day. Finally we got a sh nice shot on a common spring buck at about 242 yards and we got something put in the salt tonight. I'd like to thank Richard from Comer Safaris and African Sun Productions. Okay, we've spotted two roam bull. He's a good one, he's quite a bit darker as well. I think we should take him, eh? What do you think? He's pretty, eh? Yes, very good bull. Let's take him quickly. Here you guys. Right. 
change them now for you. Yep. Wait, wait. All the way forward. Okay, here you go. Just beyond. Just watch him. Just wait. Give him a minute. Hey, he's dizzy. He's gonna go down. Hey, tough animals. Well, guess what that is? That's what you came here for. <laughs> well you, done. Good Appreciate shooting. It. Well done. I've got the lungs. Oh, yes, a big animal there. Eh? Well done, buddy. That's what you came Thank for. You. That's what you came for. That's a good looking roan. Oh, Very awesome. good looking roan. Right, Sean, this was your number one animal on your hit list. Um, we tried yesterday, pretty much most of the day, to get on our own. We didn't have a chance on him. We saw a couple of bulls, but not what we were looking for. And uh, this morning, not far into it, uh, we spotted two bulls and we noticed this bull is uh, really exceptional. And uh, we put in a good stalk and you made a brilliant shot on him. He ran 50, 60 yards and he tipped over. Well done, buddy. You did well. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. Richard put us on a couple of sable uh, back in 2021. Mike and myself shot two gorgeous sable, and once I got the sable, I knew that the roan had to be the next one that is top of my list, like Richard said. Thank you, Richard. Pleasure, buddy. Always good hunting with you.
Right, we're on day five on our safari with the Daly family. Um, we've knocked down a couple of beautiful animals and uh, today is our second last day. And uh, we're going off to some dangerous game today. Um, Sean has a Cape Buffalo cow um, on his list that we're going to try and knock down. Um, I will be carrying my back up today. Uh, you know these things are dangerous. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just going to have a good time. But most importantly today, we have a little bit of a surprise that MJ would like to tell Ryan. You get to shoot one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah. That sounds cool. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Come up here quickly, come up. In a pool. Ah, oh, my grand. in his calf muscles so we take that slow. Young bulls. Just watch that gap. Now it's in miles. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, there she is there, yeah. Oh, it's worth some 50 minutes. Well, Sean, there's your buffalo. It was high on the hit list. You got a crippled pH, but we got it done. Well done. Beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Check it out. Beautiful. The shot was perfect there as well. Eh? There you go. Thank you, Thomas. 
Why? Right, Sean. Um, we got into some buffalo this morning, but they just wouldn't give us a chance. They were quite spooky, and uh, we changed areas, and we found another herd. And uh, luckily, they stood in the thick trees for long enough for us, but they just wouldn't uh, part from this old cow. Um, they were covering them from behind, so we couldn't take our shot. Um, eventually, we moved our angle, and she was clear. And you put in a perfect shot. One shot and it went down, it ran 30, 40 yards, gave the death bellow and uh, she was done. But we put in that uh, surety shot, we walked up on it, you never know. It's the dead ones that kill you. So well done. Thank you Richard, appreciate it. This is a great animal and I'm glad that Richard put it on, put it on for us and uh, just having a great time here in Africa. Thanks again Richard. Pleasure buddy. Right, uh, we've reached that stage of the hunt now where the old buffalo bull has to hand over to the up and coming soft boss bull over here. Hey, just uh, caught up to him. <laughs> <laughs> just to help out, we've pulled a little bit of a hamstring here, calf muscle. Um, so Grant is going to take out Ryan um, and see if we can get him on an old buffalo cow. So yeah, good luck guys. Moi, thanks. Thank you, no problem. Eat it. Thank you. See if we can find the old cow <laughs> down over the bank. Let's hope we find one there. There's a whole group there, and we don't know if there's any old cows yet, but shortly we'll see. Okay, you can put one in and then just put it on safe. Perfect. Just put that on six and then we're good. Yeah.
towards you. Shot. You hit her good. Let's just give her a bit of time. She has joined the group there. Yeah. But we'll give it a good shot. It buckled up like that. Looks good. Look through there, there she lies dead. Mm -hmm. so that's what we heard her death bellow now. Then. Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> you don't want to be in that path when they get going. Yeah. Just keep that gun up. Have you got one in it? Just oh, in case. Yeah. Just zoom it right out. Zoom it right out. I'll go up, I'll check it, and then she looks good. Now she's done. Run. Well done, my friend. It's a beautiful old cow. You can see, yeah, she's solid. Yeah, no, she's beautiful. She's an old cow. Great shot, difficult shot. Frontal shot's never easy. But with the, the number of animals in that herd, it was difficult to get closer than the, that we did. We were probably about 80 yards. Yeah. And yeah, you made an exceptional shot. Like I said, that bellow, death bellow of theirs, we knew she was down. Mm -hmm. And then the others just didn't want to leave her. But finally we got to her and yeah, beautiful animal. Well done again. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it was yeah, it was exciting. Yeah, we yeah. Had. Yeah. Just had to wait One, the right yeah. Time. yeah, it was a lot of weight. Good hunt? Yeah, yeah it was fun. It was <laughs> All on a video, too. Oh, yeah, you'll yeah. see it. Nice. <clears throat> uh. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. Man. Right in awesome. the chest. Look at that. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, that, awesome. that looks cool. That's nice. I saw some that were like that. Run. Congratulations again on a beautiful buffalo cow. Uh, I would say it's probably two hours since we started this afternoon after our original pH succumbed to the old age. <laughs> but yeah, it was a tough, tough hunt. I would say it took us probably 45 minutes from when we spotted them to getting a shot in. We were cat and mouse between the bushes and the whole herd. We probably found her out of a herd of 70, I would say. Um, yeah, we needed patience. You had the patience. It was a difficult shot with her coming, being inquisitive, looking at us like that. And you made the perfect shot. And it wasn't three minutes after hitting her and we heard her death bellow. And then that was that. And we knew she was down. And then we had to deal with the rest of the herd yeah. to get rid of them so we could go see our, see our prize. But yeah, well done again. Um, it was a difficult situation being so patient. Normally guys get a bit edgy and that and a shot, frontal shot especially is a difficult shot to make and one shot and she was down. Well Thank done you. again. Yeah, I appreciate awesome. it. Yeah, that was fun, that was exciting. Yeah, it's definitely worth the wait. She's, she's big, beautiful. Yeah. 
So yeah, it was fun. It was exciting that they were in a herd too. It wasn't just her all by herself. It made it a little more difficult, but it's exciting. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom for this experience. It's been fun. Mike, Sean, it's really, it's been fun. Hey Ryan, thank you for harvesting this animal. Um, the meat of all our animals that we shoot, especially these, all will get processed back at Comrie where you guys are from. Adna, I'm sure you met him. He does a lot of the processing. Um, I know he's keeping the oxtail or the buffalo tail for you guys, which you'll be getting that side again, probably in a day or two after it's aged a bit. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and thank you. Um, yeah. It will feed a lot of people this side. Yeah, we will. I'm excited to try it. It'll be good, I'm sure. Yeah. For real, you get one? Yeah. No, nah, you're all dead. Thank goodness. I don't have to come back and see his ugly mug. <laughs> That's good stuff. Thanks for pulling me through today. How are you doing? Well done, guys. You're yeah, all right, man. I was better when I was standing by the fire and warming my cough muscle up there. <laughs> Ryan, tell them the story. Yeah, tell us. Um, One shot. So we saw a group. So we did a little driving around the first section. We yeah. Couldn't spot anything, so we went to, down to where we were earlier and then. Uh, I uh, just had to get behind him on yeah. the wind and then just kind of snuck up on him, went through the pond and up and then we kind of had to wait it out for an hour or two. But I thought maybe you guys were swimming in the dam or something you took so long. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, close enough, going around that one phone bush, you almost yeah. came up. <laughs> but yeah, I finally found the right one. I yeah. didn't have a calf, so. Nice, and you smoked it. Yeah. Yep. How far was the shot? About 80, I would say. 75, 80. 80. Oh, so every now and again, a blind squirrel finds a nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's day six of the safari. Um, we've been trying to get on Anyala for Mark and we've been struggling a bit. Uh, weather hasn't played part. We've seen lots of females, young bulls, just not what we're looking for. Um, I've set the guys out on lookout points. So we're all spread out along these cliff faces. We're just going to glass here for a bit and see if uh, a good Anyala comes out. Let's see what we can do, Mark. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Right, we've been sitting on one of our lookout points for Nyala for about an hour and nothing's really come out. It's really cold this morning. Um, so what we're going to do is we haven't spotted anything that's worthwhile shooting. We saw a bull, but it just wasn't great. We're going to drive into the main area um, along the river bottom and hopefully we bump a Nyala bull over there. So that's our next move, Mark. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Right, we spotted a nice uh, blessback ram. He was standing on his own, um, but a herd came through and pulled him off and he chased one of the other rams away there. So now he's followed the herd. So we're going to try and get a stalk on him. We might have to do a loop around and see if we can get him. See the coppers in the road there. You see him there. I just want to double check distances and that. Yes, three will be good. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You see him in the road there. Eh? See if you can get comfortable there. Wait, wait, wait. I must go all the way forward. Squeeze the trigger. <laughs> That'll do. Shooting, oh. shooting. Nice, nice. Right, we uh, just got a beautiful copper blaze back. Um, Sean was open to either the yellow blessback or the, the saddleback or the copper and we had both of them standing there we decided to shoot the copper. Beautiful animal, really nice horns. Well Appreciate done. Appreciate it Richard, thank you. Good shooting. Awesome animal. <laughs> Woo -wee. That's a pretty one. <laughs> ah, well done buddy. Thank you. There's a beautiful uh, copper. You, you see his face, how different it is as well. Yeah. Beautiful white legs. All that. Really pretty animal. Beautiful copper. Very cool. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Day six of the safari, and we're unable to track down a bush buck. So uh, Richard put us on some great looking blessed buck, and this is a copper blessed buck. I think the shot was about 275 yards right in the shoulder. Thing went right down. Uh, I'd like to thank Richard for all the hard work for the entire week. We broke him a little bit, but he's gutting it out and uh, putting in a great effort for us. Okay, we've just seen a common blaze back here. We had just got our copper down, taking pictures, and the common came out, so we're going to try and get on him quickly for Ryan. to the chest there. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. Okay, reload, reload. Go on, stay. Let's just walk up quickly, lift it up, lift it up. That worked out perfectly. Well done, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful common. Eh? Well you. done, young man. Thank you. That worked out great. We're gonna have a double up picture here. Sweet. Lovely. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's so old. Nice. Yeah. Right beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. His face isn't all crushed. Like mine, <laughs> yeah. I remember yours when it came down the mountain. Thank you. Awesome. Good shooting. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Randy. Nice. He looks back quite a bit, yeah. Yeah he does. Very nice. Beautiful colour. Well, 
last day here, day six. Uh, Sean got a nice uh, bus buck there. Um, sat down, take some pictures, and we spotted this common. Uh, I don't know, 100 yards or so. We didn't really get a range on it. We kind of just came up on it fast and put it down. But yeah, it's a got a nice saddle back to it. But um, yeah. Okay, we've just spotted another beautiful copper blaze pack. We're gonna see if we can get on him for Mark. Let's do it, Mark. Let's do it. Okay, let's just get it on the sticks here. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in his direction. You can just see his legs up there. Okay. You see up there that white legs there. There he's yep. head shaking. Just see if you can get on him. You take a step up and rise There we go. Okay. He just toppled over. Ooh -wee. Nice. Another good copper. Ooh -wee. Well done. Yes, he's tall. Wow. Very tall. Well nice. done, buddy. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, day six, we're wrapping it up here at Comrie Safari. Got another copper blessed buck here uh, to finish off the day. Um, pull a nice shot, 280 some yards up a hill. He come crashing down and um, that's it. Right, it's final afternoon here on safari. Um, Ryan shot a blessed buck earlier today and uh, I think the bug's bitten. He'd like to shoot another one and I know a guy that can make it happen. <laughs> but let's do it buddy, let's have a good time. See if you can lay down here and get a nice spot. Just wait, I'll tell you when. Are you clearing him there? Yeah. Oop. Reload, reload. Just hang on. Pull a little bit left. Just hang on. No, he's going out now, but... Good hit. <laughs> so you need shooting sticks, that's what you need. Yeah, well, done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done.
like that was a little better. <laughs> Shooting sticks or 100 yards, one of the two. <laughs> Whichever's working, we'll carry on with that. All right, there's bless pack number two, buddy. Beautiful. Woo, he swoops back quite a bit, too. Look at that. Beautiful bless pack. Well done. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Jordan. Jordan. All right, good afternoon, day six, uh, final afternoon. Uh, shot one of these this morning, a common one with a little saddleback, so obviously I had to shoot another one because I got the bug now. So I uh, spotted this one, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred yards out. Uh, I took a shot at it prone, uh, obviously didn't work, um, so we had to get a little closer. Got to within, uh, I don't know, right around 100 yards off the sticks, smoked it. Uh, so here it is. And uh, just like to t thank Thomas and Suko over the last week. They've been a huge help to us. So just like to thank them guys. And whatever you guys want to say as well, have at it. We have a great hand with you. It was the first time to see a young men shoot like you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Right guys, tonight uh, we did what we call a braai, you guys call it barbecue, and uh, we got some Eden sausage, wildebeest back straps, uh, mutton chops, potato bake, and uh, noodle salad for you, and then there's some traditional uh, roasted bread, it's dough that you roll up and we um, put on the fire and uh, cook it on the grill. Yeah, enjoy. Thank, Thank you Richard. You're welcome. Thank you. Right guys, all good things come to an end. We had a fantastic safari. Um, I really enjoyed my time with you guys. It's an absolute pleasure to hunt with you all. Um, it was a six day safari with a lot of animals, so we had to work hard. There were no siestas at lunchtime, so I think I'll take a week off when you guys leave. Um, you know, that's why they call it hunting. You know, we didn't just uh, go out there and bang things over. We really worked hard for some of the animals, and it makes it a lot more rewarding that way you know yes it does and uh, in the end the results speak for themselves it was an absolute pleasure having you guys in camp um, it's the second time you've hunted with us and uh, yeah I can't wait for the next time you guys come and visit us thank you Richard yeah like Richard said it was a great time our second time in South Africa I'd like to thank Richard Bridger and the whole staff here and Martin from African Sun Production as well and I just want to reiterate what Sean said. Uh, we appreciate everything Richard and Sasha will do for us on these trips. Uh, makes us, it's a homey experience. And we all appreciate all the upgrades and improvements you make in your business because it reflects on how much you really care about your clients and us as your friends as also. And, um, you know, I, we can't say enough about it. It's. This safari was better than the first one, which is hard to believe. Everyone is just an epic uh, vacation, so we appreciate everything. It's only a pleasure, Mark. Uh, you know, end of the day, you pay a lot of money to go on holiday. It's airline tickets, taxidermy, paying to stay at a lodge, shoot your animals there. So we want to make it the best vacation possible for you. Um, it's my job to make it good for you. 
I just want to say it was a great time, fantastic experience. Uh, uh, every every day we were at it, <laughs> um, and uh, as a uh, first time for Ryan, it was very memorable, and you guys are very generous with all of your time, knowledge, everything. Um, the hospitality was fantastic. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, so this is my first time here, so I only saw pictures of the last experience, so I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, it definitely exceeded my expectations. Everybody here at the lodge was great. Richard was great. Martin was, he was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he was great. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. It was fun, fun week, fishing, hunting, whatever. Couldn't name a better vacation and had a better place. It was an awesome time.